Hello friends, welcome to your YouTube channel. Now in this class, we will discuss about the damped oscillations, free oscillations, forced oscillations and the concept of the resonance. Okay. Now first we will start with the damped oscillations. The oscillations whose amplitude goes on decreasing with the time are called damped oscillations. In real oscillating systems, forces like friction are always present that dissipate the oscillating energy. Unless energy is somehow added, dissipation eventually brings the system to rest at equilibrium. Means continuously there will be loss of energy, hence there is loss of mag magnitude in of the amplitude. So it is continuously decreasing amplitude system. Okay. This diagram will show you how the energy will affect the amplitude. So the initially amplitude is plus a maximum and minimum is minus a and with the respect to time it eventually goes on decreasing. This shows the damped oscillation. Damped motion can be defined only if we have a mathematical expression for the damping force. So damping force how it is given? In many systems especially those involving friction associated with slow motion through a viscous fluid. The damping force is approximately proportional to the instantaneous velocity and acts opposite to motion. Damping force is given by Fa is equals to according to the above given condition opposite to sorry proportional to velocity so it is V and proportionality sign if we remove we will get here the constant b so fa can be given as minus bv and velocity can be written as dx by dt so finally we are getting minus b dx by dt as a damping force where b is damping constant giving the strength of the damping we can write newton's law now including damping force along with the restoring force for a spring mass system if we consider then we have m into d2x by dt square is equals to minus kx this is improved format of the simple harmonic motion instead of the zero we will now having the concept of minus b dx by dt that is damping force so when we Rearrange this equation, we will get m into d2x by dt square plus b into dx by dt plus kx is equals to 0. This is differential equation for damped oscillation. And if we solve this, we will get the solution of this equation to be x is equals to a e raised to minus bt divided by 2m cos of omega t plus phi. Now equation 1 describes sinusoidal motion whose amplitude A decreases exponentially with the time. How fast the amplitude drops depends on the damping constant B and mass M. The frequency of this damped oscillation or damped motion is given by F is equals to 1 upon 2 pi square root of K by M minus in the bracket B upon 2M its square. When frictional forces are absent, that is B is equals to 0, then frequency can be written as B F is equals to 1 upon 2 pi square root of K by M only. Now the next concept is free oscillations. When a body capable of oscillating is displaced from its equilibrium position and then left free, it begins to oscillate with a definite frequency. Means first time only we have to give some displacement. Later on it will be moving by its own. This type of oscillation is called as a free oscillation. This frequency depends upon the intrinsic proper properties. That is shape, elasticity etc. of the bodies and is called as natural frequency or the free frequency or free oscillations of the body. Such oscill oscillations are called free oscillations. The examples of free oscillations can be given as when a simple pendulum is displaced from its mean position and then left free, 
it executes free oscillations a natural frequency of the simple pendulum depends upon its length and is given by f is equals to 1 upon 2 pi square root of g by l this we already discussed in simple pendulum here the oscillation of the simple pendulum are free oscillations now the next it is the forced oscillation when a body is maintained in a state of oscillation by an external periodic force continuously we have to provide this of a frequency other than the natural frequency of the body the oscillations are called forced oscillations means continuously it is driven by an external force the frequency of forced oscillations is equal to the frequency of the periodic force the external applied force on the body is called the driver and the body set into oscillations is called driven oscillator when the stem of a vibrating tuning fork is held in hand only a feeble sound is heard however if the stem is pressed against a table top the sound becomes louder this we can understood by the experiment of the sonometer there we will found that okay so keep in mind that experiment and then imagine this it is because the tuning fork forces the table to vibrate with the fork's frequency hence the sound is generated since the table has a large vibrating area than the tuning fork these forced oscillations produce a more intense sound now there arises a special case of this force oscillation that is the resonance or resonant oscillations when a body is maintained in a state of oscillations by periodic force having the same frequency as the natural frequency of the body the oscillations are called resonant oscillations means it is a special case of the force oscillation in which natural frequency of the body is exactly same to the forced frequency of the body the phenomenon of producing resonance oscillations is called resonance resonance is a particular case of forced oscillations and how we can find the amplitude the amplitude a not of motion of forced oscillations with damping is given by equation second which is a not is equals to f not divided by m divided by square root of omega square minus omega not square its square plus in the bracket b omega divided by m its square at resonance omega is equals to omega not and we get here a not is equals to f o divided by m divided by square root of b omega not by m its square so when solving we will get here amplitude is equals to f not divided by b omega not okay so hope you understand these concepts simply based on the oscillations if you have any doubt regarding this please comment here like our videos share it and please subscribe our channel